everybody's talking about GLP ones, but what if the next big thing wasn't an injectable and it wasn't hitting just one receptor at a time? Meet Bioglutide, NA931. Welcome to Biohacking Explain. My name is Daniel, and today I'm going to do a comprehensive overview on bioglutide. Bioglutide is an oral peptide, first in its class quadruple receptor agonist. What this means precisely is that it targets the GLP-1, GIP, glucagon, and IGF-1 pathways. Today I'm going to break down its functionality, how long it's going to take for the FDA to approve it more or less, and when we can start seeing it in the market as well as side effects that are possibly involved with this peptide. What is bioglutide? Bioglutide is also known as NA931 and is being developed by Biomed Industries. It's first in its class as a quadruple agonist receptor and is stable enough as an oral form instead of using other GLPs that are injectable. The company's goals are quite simple, so they want to drive as much fat loss as possible while preserving muscle mass. Currently, this compound is at phase two. They have just finished the 13-week trial in obese and overweight adult individuals. The results of this compound have been shared with the American Diabetes Association currently in this year, as well as Endo. And Biomed Industries says that phase three is coming next. There is also another phase two trial that's happening as we speak that they're using it on its own and with trisepatide. So you might be asking yourselves, why do multi-agonists matter? So as you guys may know, we started with GLP-1, semaglutide. It changed the fat loss game forever. Then we went to dual agonists with trisepatide, and it just leveled up the game. And now we're using retitrutide, which is a triple agonist. And you could see amazing benefits of retitrutide, which I'm using right now. So you're asking yourselves, why do we need a quadruple agonist? So like with other GLPs, bioglutide is also aiming to suppress your appetite as much as possible while slowing down gastric emptying. And then the glucagon is also going to help you control your blood sensitivity levels or insulin sensitivity with IGF-1. And this is going to, in turn, help you maintain as much muscle mass as possible. So in simple terms, it's not that you're only going to see weight loss, but the quality of the weight loss is what's going to matter with the quadruple agonists. The IGF-1 pathway ties into anabolic and insulin signaling. So some really cool things that I have noticed on these studies that are coming out on bioglutide is that there's no food restrictions like there are on other GLPs. It's also orally active, and it's a once-daily type of dose. In preclinical mouse models, it has dropped up to 26% of body weight as well as improved liver health markers. Animal data is encouraging, but we do have to wait until human confirmation has happened in phase three. So what is the human data that we have so far? At phase one trials with individuals that have diabetes, they showed early signs of dropping weight as well as better glucose control. In the 13-week phase two trials with 125 individuals, bioglutide showed signs of clinically better weight loss than placebo group, preservation of lean body mass, as well as lower rate of GI side effects than other GLPs do have. We do not have any peer-reviewed sources yet, so just stay cautious until phase three trials happen. If you do wanna stay up to date with these trials and what's going on with bioglutide, I'm gonna put the registered number of the trial in my description below. A great website to stay up to date with these trials is clinicaltrials.gov. So being realistic, when could we expect to see bioglutide out in the market? So guys, 2025 is definitely not the year for bioglutide. Maybe by the end of 2026, we could start seeing it in the gray markets in research companies. But 2027, 2028, that's when we're going to see it in the legal markets. What are the safety concerns and risks involved with bioglutide? So like with any GLP, you could experience some nausea, some vomiting, a little bit of fatigue. But the really cool thing about bioglutide is that you're not going to notice any type of a skin rash or irritation in injection sites since it's an oral form. I think the risk for hypoglycemia is extremely low if you're using bioglutide on its own but that could change that if you decide to stack it with GA secretagogues. The IGF-1 pathway, it's gonna raise concerns in regards of cell growth. So if you have possible concerns of having the C word in your body, it might not be the best thing to use. The really cool thing about bioglutide is that it's also telling us what's coming next with other GLPs. So now that we know that it can be done in an oral form and it's stable enough for you to take it daily, they're probably going to start producing other GLPs, so a GLP-1, GLP-2, and GLP-3 in an oral form as well. So on my videos, I usually talk about dosages. I cannot do that, unfortunately, with bioglutide yet since it's not out in the market. But I am going to assume that the dose is going to be very similar to the clinical trials, which is going to be one pill a day. So guys, we have come to the end of the video. I am going to keep you up to date with anything that comes out about bioglutide or any quadruple agonist receptors. 
Remember, I do have a free peptide cheat sheet. Just comment peptide below and I'll send it to you. And don't forget to subscribe, like below, and comment what you want me to talk about next. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.